In this lesson, we'll look at how to get the URL parameters of a URL in JavaScript. So when you're browsing certain sites, you've got these URL parameters inside of your site's URL, especially when you've filled out a form and you're making a GET request. So for example, on the Google homepage, when you do a search, you have several parameters such as EI, Q, OQ, and various other ones. And these are all separated via the ampersand sign. So you can quite easily access that string simply by going to window.location search but that will just give you a string back and you would need to use the split method on the string in order to extract the various different parameters that are in the URL search parameters. So a better way of doing it is to actually construct a new URL search parameters object and call a special get function on that to extract the parameters that you need. With the object constructed you can call the get function to get any of those parameters via their name. There is also a keys function, which would expect you to give you the name of all of the parameters that are available, but instead it gives you this iterator object which allows you to loop over all of those parameter names and extract the values if you need to. So the get function is really useful if you know what parameter you're after. If you don't know what parameters are available, you can do a loop over all of the keys and extract each individual value. So you could do something like this. So here I've just turned the keys into an array and I've reduced it into a single object and as you can see all of the URL parameters are presented to us in an object and we can extract each individual property via its name. So within your JavaScript code if you don't know what parameters are available you could do something like this to create an object with all of the parameter names and their values which you can then use in other parts of your code. So that's it for this lesson, I'll provide a link to the example code in the description below so that you can try that out in your own developer tools.